Okay, so here's here's the original tweet. Um, so uh, it says, given three points, you can always find a circle passing through them all. Oh, actually, that that reminds me. I, I mean, I said three points in a plane, and here it just says, given three points. <laughs> what do you think about that? Why doesn't it say three points in a plane? Well, I think if you if you were to pick three points, I think they would always, you could always find a plane where all of those three points were in that plane. Yeah, good. All right, so um, why don't you walk through um, the, the picture here and what it says. All right, so you draw lines from A to B to C. Um, so let's just say this is A, this is B, and this is C. Um, so you would draw a line, these two lines here. Mm -hmm. um, draw their perpendicular bisectors. Um, and then, again, the circle's center is the, that intersection point where they meet. And then you just use that to find the radius of your circle, and then you just draw around there. And I think the GIF is showing that it works for any circle, okay. or where the three points are anywhere on that circle. Yeah, the, the three points that I drew on our whiteboard by accident, nearly, were almost exactly formed a right triangle. Yeah. But that doesn't have to be, it's true for any three points. Mm -hmm. You can see the triangle doesn't have to have a right angle there. Um, so let's go down a little bit in the thread. Um, this works because... And the circle center is, by definition, <clears throat> the same distance to all three points. Okay, ah, that's an interesting point. Why is uh, this intersection point the same distance away from all three points. Um, that's because um, you're constructing perpendicular bisectors, and this perpendicular bisector would be the line would be the same distance away from these two corners, mm -hmm. and this perpendicular bisector would be the same distance away from these two, um, and so where they would meet would be the same distance from all three. Very good. Very good. Very good explanation. Um, given a pair of points, the region where the distance both of them is the same is the perpendicular line. The intersection is where they're all the same. Okay, and then let's look at the last, or the second to last thing, because the next one is about uh, some, maybe something different. Although I might be remembering it wrong. Note that if all three points lie along a line, the circle is undefined. Why would that be the case? Um. Because if they're all along the line, the perpendicular bisectors would never meet. Um, so you would actually you wouldn't have a triangle there that you could create. Yeah, that's exactly right. Um, good. And then if we interpret uh, three points as vertices of a triangle, the circle is usually called the circumcircle. Yeah. The category of polygons, where all the points lie in a circle, are called cyclic polygons. Uh, and so, by definition, all triangles are cyclic polygons. All right. This is cool. That this makes is a, sense. a really nice explanation. Yeah. Um, all right. So now, uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to get uh, a piece of paper, and we're going to do the construction ourselves. Okay.